Well, hello, welcome. I'm Katie and this is a Fountain Pen Awakening. Hope you're doing all super well wherever you are in the world. Today in sunny Queensland, it's hot as Hades once again. It's like 30 degrees here. This is Celsius. Um, don't know what it translates to Fahrenheit. Sorry, guys. And it's like really super humid. I'm filming inside. It is the 1st of February. I did order this parcel around the 21st. It's come from the UK and it's actually taken 10 days. It arrived today. And disclaimer, I've sort of received all these pens pretty much all at the same time in January. And then I've just been filming them. Um, one thing at a time so every every kind of week I have something to film with you so obviously I cannot wait that long <laughs> so I'm going to unbox it now and then this video will be posted um in a couple of weeks time so as I said this parcel came from the UK it didn't take very long at all this is cult pens it came from oops and oh dear me sorry about that just taking all the goodies out of the parcel yeah as I was saying um Cult pens, the UK, all these specials, all these um, savings. And I've discovered that January is the month to buy a fountain pen because everyone's having these massive discounts everywhere. I did an order to sort of get my free shipping. So I sort of got a couple of things um, just so I could get to 200, I think it's $210 and they send you free shipping to Australia. So I got, this Caveco and this ink as a uh, cult pen exclusive and then I ordered myself a couple of Caveco 1.1 calligraphy nibs and then I, I got myself a gold clip so I think I'll do I'll do a Caveco video on a separate occasion but today I want to share with you this baby here now I've been wanting to try one of these for the longest time and um, this was at a great price. I saw this model here and I sort of fell in love with it and I wanted it, wanted it, wanted it and so Colt Pens did have the sale on it so here it is. Now I'm just going to take it out of this sleeve. This is a Laban and this is I think, I don't know if it's from Taiwan, I think it's a Taiwanese brand. Oh my goodness I should have checked that out. I'll link that in the description box below. But this is the lovely box it comes in, quite sturdy. And you pull this out, it's like a little drawer. Isn't it cute? Very sturdy, very nice box. And practically, oh, what's this here? Oh, this thing keeps wobbling, I'm sorry. Um, oh, it's a sticker. Oh, cool, bananas. I can put that in my, my journal. And this is the Laban Antique 2, and it's kind of like a, an antique gold and a white pinstripe kind of thing. And I love it. Oh, it's so hefty and heavy. I've been eyeing this off for the longest time and umming and ahhing about it. So... I wonder if there's anything under here. Does that come out? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. So that comes with um, a little bookmark and the paperwork. Doesn't have a cartridge. Hopefully inside we've got a converter. So for now, I'll put that aside. I love this box. And it's kind of like shimmering too. It's just really nice finish on it. Right, let me get this out the way. And let me show you this beauty. Now I got this in a broad nib just because I, I, I wanted to try a broad nib. Oh, see how nice that is. Oops, where are we? Very nice. Very nice looking nib. And what does it say on the nib? Can we read that? Le Bon. And it just has the engraving. And it's a two-toned nib, which is super nice. And it's got this kind of antique finish on it and this is kind of like a it looks more like brass than gold but it is the gold version and if I oh yeah it's got the Le Bon um, ink converter in there which is fantastic it's quite hefty 
quite weighty. Um, this um, grip piece here is um, kind of like an hourglass shape. It's sort of kind of, I feel like it's maybe comparable to my Pilot Matte in, in girth. Um, how does it feel? It feels good in my hands. Um, let's see if it posts. Oh yeah, that posts nicely, securely on the back there. Uh, makes it a bit back heavy for me. So um, I don't think I will post, I don't post most of my pins because you know, they kind of always sit quite nicely in my hand. It feels well balanced. Now let's do a quickly a size comparison. Oh, isn't it a beautiful pen? Just gonna grab my Twisby 580. Um, that's the Pro Gear. And that is my Pilot Mat. So a little bit smaller than a Twisby. 580 diamond, a little bit bigger than um, both the Pilot Mat and the Pro Gear. If I uncap it, just wanted to show you, yeah, the grip section, just to give you an idea. Very similar in girth there. And um, yeah, uncapped, very similar in size. Just going to put that there so they don't roll. Sorry, am I in frame? Probably not. Oh, yeah, very similar in dimensions. Yeah, cap that one. Yeah, slightly bigger. And my Sailor Pro Gear is a little bit smaller. So, yeah, very comparable um, to my Pilot Metropolitan in size and length when uncapped um, and very similar to in the size of the grip section and everything else. The um, nib is slightly smaller on this one and then when you cap them this Le bon becomes a little bit longer than your pilot mat. Okay, very cute, just slightly longer. Yay! Now I'm so excited. Let's get this baby inked up. Alright guys, so I've decided to ink my new Le Bon Antique 2 uh, in my Van Diemen's Underwater Neptune's Necklace. Just because it matches that sort of patinated or antiquated or whatever the word is, gold. And then I discovered this little clip. Look at that little cute clip that they've given me. Um, that was just clipped to my invoice. <laughs> that was from Colt Pens. How cute's that? It's going to be handy in my Hobonichi. Yay! Whoops. It's got a little smiley face. Can you see the smiley face? Sorry, I'm filming inside and the light is quite bad because I, I've kept my curtains a little bit closed just because I want to keep the heat out. All right, so let's do this. So yeah, I've been wanting to try La Bon uh, for the longest time now. It's been on my wish list for months, to be honest. And um, oh, everything's a rolling. Oh no, what am I doing? <laughs> so used to using my syringe to fill my pen. Keep forgetting that we can do this this way. Alright, so stick that right in. Oh yeah, that works super well. That does. Look at you go. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, this was on my wish list for the longest time, and uh, I saw these pens uh, originally on Karina Loves to Plan um, channel. She has a few Le Bons now, and they, they, they look absolutely gorgeous. And then she did, I think she did an end of year review, or she did um, a VR to one of of the ladies that she follows and um, they were talking about the wow factor of their pens and she did say that she was absolutely pleasantly surprised by the Le Bon and how they um the how they write and you know and how they felt and uh, she's got some stunning ones um yeah but I would my eye was caught by 
by this one i don't know i just like that antique look of it the patina on the on the gold um there is also a rose gold i think and also sort of like a gun metal as well and but yeah i just really like the look of this i hear it says it just says laban um and yeah let's get to it so my friends we have a laban oh wow oh wow that writes super nice super smooth and i got it with the broad nib um just because i was curious to see what a broad nib would uh, write like in you know because this is being an asian brand i don't know if these nibs kind of write smaller than usual i don't know actually what if it's a propriety nib or if they use a Yovo or a Schmidt nib, I'm not entirely sure. But that's my Laban. Antique 2. Now why 2 is because they've got an antique uh, 1 range where they just, the whole pen is just the metal. It doesn't have uh, the barrel with these pinstripes or anything. It just, they're all kind of metal. So they have gold, silver and rose gold antique to broad nib oh i love it i love it guys broad nib it just writes so smoothly this nib is just so smooth look at that i mean being a broad nib it doesn't really have a lot of line variation um, be interested to see oh yeah a little bit of shading um, oh and this color just absolutely complements the antique look um, yeah I, I was imagining the grip section to be a little bit wider um, what else do I need the threads feel fine you know like there is a little bit of a step down but the the threads here I feel feel good all right so what am I doing I'm telling you I've inked it up so I'm very distracted today it's just so warm I'm just gonna maybe go chuck myself in the pool in a minute inked up with Neptune's necklace which is in my one of my Venn demons inks see how that writes, 86. <laughs> it's funny how you can't write and speak at the same time. Hello big girl, hello Winda. Got Willa here, she wants to jump up on my bed. Um, yeah, we've had some really sad news about Willow. Um, she's an old girl, she's about 16 years old, but um, we took her to the vet the other day and they diagnosed her with a tumour of the lungs. So we don't know how long she's got to go, the old girl. But um, yeah, we have to keep her inside with this this heat because it kind of like um, interferes with her with her breathing. She gets shortness of breath. But she doesn't want to be inside. She wants to go outside on the veranda. All right, so I love it. I love it. It's really super smooth, guys, and it just writes like a dream. Um, buttery smooth. And it's not a gold nib, it's a stainless steel nib. But, oh, wow. Really, really liking also the broad nib. It's not too broad, so the writing isn't too, as I call it, um, blobby. Blob by blobby, I mean it kind of like tends to expand on the page. I'm also on a Rodia, um, I'm on Rodia paper here, and I find that with Rodia paper, it's a harder paper. So inks tend to stay a bit more crisp the line stays a little bit crisp as it as opposed to the softer papers um and then obviously you know i've got my um my composition notepad that that's just for playing around and that's not really fantastic paper uh yeah so that's what the smaller writing Let's see how it compares to the broad nib that i've got in my brio now the broad nib that I've got in my Brio is a Schmidt nib. Let's have a look. 
and I love this uh, broad bit that I've got in here because it's not as blobby as a normal see it's starting to see a bit of feathering there whereas this doesn't doesn't feather all right as blobby as other broads that I have tried out like for instance Lamy broad mid was can't deal I can't deal because I like my writing to sort of you know put down a lot of ink but not be lobby or feathery yeah very nice yeah this one is a little bit sharper this um this broad nib but I can deal with that because I you can also buy replacement nibs anyway for them so if I want to um, I think they do a stub nib, but the stub nib is a 1.5. It's a bit too big for my liking. So I might try out a, a fine. I might even try out a fine. So thank you all for watching. And this is my brand new Labant Antique two with a broad nib and i'm absolutely loving myself silly thanks for liking for subscribing and uh, yes i know i'm going cray cray with my pen but don't worry i will calm down <laughs> it's just as i said at the beginning of the video i purchased a few pens they arrived all together it's not like i've bought like i'm going crazy every week with new pens um it's just they all arrived and then you know slowly slowly i'm filming them all right Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you all in my next one. Ciao, baby. So <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about this, this clip. How beautiful is this clip? It sort of like inserts into the finial and then comes down. Um, it's a little bit hard, but what a gorgeous detail is that? Now, I was also reading a little bit more about them, and practically these pens are also um, environmentally friendly, and they're made out of copper. And this is why this pen is a little bit more heftier than usual. I mean, the heft is more in the in the cap because of this, this detail rather than the pen itself. Practically what they do is they recycle copper and they then color it or, you know, like treat it and, and, and sort of give it this sort of patina but how cool yeah i didn't mention it before but i was you know looking at it and that's just such a nice detail see how it kind of inserts in there in the finial this pen is just gorgeous i love it um it doesn't have any branding on the bottom finial nor on the top it just has the branding here on this band And I keep saying Le Bon, but it's La Ban, of course, because it's La Ban, not Le Bon. La Ban? La Ban. <laughs> okay, bye.